you will be amazed to know that there are eight things which is needed and they're out of syllabus for CSI and and gate exams. And these eight things actually determine what you will become after this exam, a success or a failure, okay? So I'm going to give you a case. The case is, let's say that you are one kilometer away from the peak of Mount Everest. You have traveled all through from the bottom to the top and now you are almost there, but your oxygen is depleting, right? So you are like, I have to get to the top, then only I'll achieve success, right? So what should I do? Now in the absence of a coach or a Sherpa in your case, like your, when, when you're climbing Mount Everest, you'll get these Sherpas who will guide you, right? So in the absence of a Sherpa or a coach, you will think that, hey, just one kilometer, right? Even though the oxygen is depleting, let me go, at least I'll reach there, right? But then what happens is while returning, your oxygen depletes and then you're out of oxygen and you die, right? This is exactly the story of most CSIR net and gate aspirants. They start with a lot of energy, but by the time they're about to reach that peak in their studies or exam, they lose out of the oxygen, right? Now, there are eight ingredients, which I can call it as the oxygen of your preparation, right? What are the eight things which is the oxygen of your preparation or performance in the exam? Now, this is amazing, right? Eight things which is not a part of the syllabus, but it is needed by you to qualify. And I can bet no teacher is teaching you that. I'm here to tell you that. I'm teaching students on that because I'm a success coach. I'm not here to, you know, waste your time. I'm here to tell you that these eight things are required. First, then only you can start your preparation also. Okay. The first and foremost thing is, suppose you have to start a car. You need a key, right? What is that key? that key is called as motivation. Initially, that motivation will be there. Yes, yes, I will take coaching. I will start my preparation. I will study eight hours. But after two months, over. That motivation is gone. That energy is gone. And now you are like, I don't feel like studying. Leave it. I'll go for a movie. Or I'll go and go for a job. Right? Majority of students do this mistake. But success comes to those who are persistent towards it. I'll give you an example. How many videos do you think I make in a day? Apart from running the company, apart from meeting clients, I make more than 10 videos per day. Can you believe that? At this juncture, even if I take leave for one year, still my videos will keep coming on YouTube because I've met so many. Right? How could I achieve that? Because my motivation is persistent. It stays every day. I don't miss out. Right? It's a ritual. Right? So you need motivation. But apart from motivation, the first ingredient is, ingredient is motivation. Second ingredient, productivity. Plan your day. Time your day. Achieve that every day. Tick mark whatever was your to-do. Right? For example, nine minutes from now, I have a meeting. I know it. And you see, within nine minutes, I'm going to finish this. Right? So, productivity. You have to time your day, achieve your day. You are the CEO of your life. Right? So, fire bad habits, hire good habits. Be productive. Every minute counts, right? Next, third ingredient which you need is time management, right? So what is time management? Time management during the exam and time management during your preparation. Many students, say that they'll take coaching, they'll be like, okay, now I'll qualify. No, you can't. Sorry, you cannot. How? Why? Because you're not timing your preparation. You need six hours per day of dedicated studying, focused studying apart from your classes, right? And if not six, at least four hours, at least two hours. Are you even giving one hour? I know many of you, you're not giving that, right? And then on the exam, your last month of exam, you'll try to pull in 12 hours. That's not how it is. Suppose you have diabetes, you have to take the injection every day. Or you'll take injection only when the diabetes is crossing through the roof. No, right? Same way. The body goes in balance. Your preparation should go in balance. Time management is required. It's the third ingredient. The fourth ingredient we all miss it is active recall, right? You do not actively try to recall. So you studied in January, now you're trying to recall in March, forgot, forgotten. You, you studied in January and now you're going in exam or in June and you're trying to recall, forgotten, right? Mistake, that's a mistake. You need to fix, fix that. Recall every day, whatever you studied. Whatever you studied in January, recall in February. Whatever you studied in February, yesterday, recall today. 
active recall is required. I've given you 21 different types of active recall methods. Uh, you can check our Biotechnica YouTube channel. Okay. The next one is habit management. We all have a habit like, okay, we do not uh, feel like studying, right? Mood nahi hai and or rather, you know, I don't want to do it. So exercise and studies is a tough thing, right? So if you want to achieve success in these two things, then you have to create habit. And habit formation can only come when you create a ritual, like you take bath every day, right? You take breakfast every day, right? You go to washroom every day, right? Three times or four times a day, right? Why can't you study four times a day, right? So create a ritual that after this, I will do that. After this, I'll do that. Or before this, I'll do this. Unless I have finished this, I will not do it. Do the next thing, right? This way, create a ritual, habit. This is very much important. Next is failure management. You will fail, but it is important to fail in peace in uh, while you are still practicing so don't hesitate in practicing practicing question don't hesitate in asking question don't hesitate in solving as many parts of questions right and the last but not the least is memory management forgetting you your mind is focused on 10 things and then you are not you're not able to focus you're not able to remember and then you are you know not able to recall during the exam right now apart from that there are 25 more strategies which I'm going to come up with a secret webinar only on Biotechnica's platform. It will be on a, on Zoom and uh, I'll be announcing it in our Telegram group and WhatsApp group. So if you have not joined the WhatsApp group of Biotechnica and Telegram group of Biotechnica, you're going to miss out. So please check that. Link is in the description. Please join it. So these are the eight things which you require apart from, in fact, before even before you start your preparation. And these eight ingredients will make sure that you achieve success. Concepts, anybody can study concepts, but unless you have the right system in place, success will not come your way. Success comes to those who believe in creating a system for success, right? That's how you achieve success. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.